In this video, I'll show you how to add a simple age verification on your WooCommerce checkout in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so currently we're on our demo site here and we're on a checkout page, right? And if a customer were to try to check out, here we've got this notification informing them that we do need them to enter in their date of birth and they need to be 25 years old or older to be able to proceed with their purchase, right? So if they enter in a date of birth, which is obviously um, younger than 25, um, then they won't be able to proceed through the checkout. So let's do something like... Since this is a lot older than 25, we should be able to complete our purchase, right? And that's gone through fine. Okay, so if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. And with that said, let's head over to our dashboard. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the all-in-one checkout plugin by AOVUP, the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WooSuite menu here. If not, it will say AOV up we've just done a rebranding okay with that being said we'll just click activate entering your license key once you've done so it'll automatically redirect you to this add-on section okay okay and then from this add-on section we can scroll down all the way to the bottom and then we'll see this all-in-one at checkout plugin here we've got the free version and the pro version just go ahead and make sure you enable it both of them and now we can go ahead and create our age verification field. So we'll just click on AIO checkout here. If you don't see this menu, just refresh the page and you should see it. Okay, so now the next step is to create a new checkout form. So we'll just click create new checkout. I've already created one, so I'm just going to go ahead and edit this one here. Okay, so all we need to do is click this settings field here to the right. And then we just need to go ahead and add the date field onto our checkout form, right? So you can add it in whichever position you want. So I've got both of them. I'm going to quickly show you um, how to configure this one. In fact, let's just delete this and then we'll go ahead and configure this one here. So we'll just click this settings um, icon next to the date field. And for the label, we're just going to say date of birth. OK, and then here for the type, we'll select um, min age field. OK, and then here we'll just add the minimum age um, required to check out. Right. OK, so we'll say 21. OK and i think that's about it we'll set this field to required as well okay and that's about it as i said we can rearrange um, the field to whichever position we want and now we'll just navigate to the design tab and then here we can specify our checkout um, page design okay so you can use one of our custom templates or you can create um, a template from scratch or you can use your theme default um, template right so if you wanted to use your theme default template you can choose to use a single column layout or a two column layout okay I'm just going to use one of our predefined templates okay so I've already selected it here and for the thank you page again we can go ahead and customize the thank you page so again we can use our theme default thank you page or we can use one of our custom um, thank you page or we can create one from scratch okay so now we'll just navigate to settings and we'll make sure we enable this checkout we can set it as our global checkout right it makes sense in this case and um, for the slug we can just ignore this where it says applies to we'll leave this set to everyone we can customize the complete purchase button okay and we can disable this option here because we don't want to close the checkout after um, x number of orders or we don't want to close the checkout after a specific day period to make life easier for your customers you can enable google auto complete address okay i'll leave a link to a different video which i've created showing you how to actually configure this okay so let's just go ahead and hit save changes Okay, and now let's go ahead and test our checkout. So I'm just going to visit our shop page. Just going to add this item to cart. And then I'm just going to hit checkout here. Okay, and here we've got our date of birth field. So again, let's try to enter in a incorrect um, date of birth field. Let's see. And now let's go ahead and try to purchase. Okay, so here you can see it's clearly saying that you need to be 21 or older to be able to proceed. Um, so it's not going to work for us. So let's go ahead and change the year. Let's say 1975, <laughs> for example. And then just hit complete purchase. Okay, and our order's been processed fine, okay. 
And that's a quick and simple way to add a age verification field to your WooCommerce checkout. As always, if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.